Okay, so in this video, we're going to take a look at factorials. And I'll just start with uh, three examples to show you what factorials are. So uh, I suppose, first of all, the symbol for factorial is the explanation mark, okay? And uh, this three explanation mark is read as three factorial. And what does that mean? Three factorial means three multiplied by two multiplied by one. And three by two is six, by one is still six. So three factorial is equal to six. Four factorial then would be four all the way down to one. So it's four multiplied by three, multiplied by two, multiplied by one. And then four factorial will be four by three is 12, by two is 24, by one is 24. Uh, I'm going to skip a few and go all the way up to 9 factorial. So that will be 9 multiplied by 8, multiplied by 7, multiplied by 6, multiplied by 5, multiplied by 4, multiplied by 3, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 1. And when we get to large numbers like this, it's definitely handier just to use our calculator. And on our calculator, we have... Uh, actually a, a button that will do this for us. So if we want to find 9 factorial, we're going to use this button here. Um, so it will be shift and x factorial. So we want 9 shift factorial equals 362880. Okay, so 362,880. Now, in general terms, uh, so factorial is n factorial is n, so you start with your biggest number, multiply it by n minus 1, which is 1 less, multiply it by n minus 2, which is 1 less again, and so on, continue down, and then until you get to multiply by 3, multiply by 2, multiply by 1. So it's the number itself multiplied by every natural number smaller than it. You go down all the way as far as 1. Uh, that's what it's defined as. It's not defined in the negative numbers, so don't worry about what negative numbers are. But we do define 0 factorial, and here is uh, how we def define it at the moment. Um, <clears throat> you might think that 0 factorial is 0, but let's have a look and see what it actually is. What I'm going to do is start on 5 factorial. So 5 factorial is 5 by 4, by 3, by 2, by 1. That works out to be 120. 4 factorial is 4, by 3, by 2, by 1. That works out to be 24. Now, if you notice 20, or 120, divided by 5 is 24. Let's take a look at 3 factorial. That's 3 times 2 times 1. That's equal to 6. And 24 divided by 4 is 6. 2 factorial then is 2 by 1, which is 2. And 6 divided by 3 is 2. 1 factorial is then just 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So if we continue this on, 0 factorial, I don't know what it is at the moment, but if we do 1, we divide by 1 this time. So we've divided by 5 up here, by 4 up here, by 3 here, by 2 here. So I'll divide by 1 here following that pattern. 1 divided by 1 is 1. So that means 0 factorial is equal to 1. So that does come up sometimes. Um, you'll come across a zero, fa 0 factorial in a question and you just define it as 1. Uh, like I said, we don't go into negative numbers in factorials. We only look at positive numbers. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please ask in the comments below. And tune into the next video in this series, which will be uh, arranging objects, uh, which is our NPR.